Yeah, one of the hardest things any actor can ever be asked to do is, well, die. Yeah. Um, and you know, you you get to come on and get, well, yeah. beaten to death. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was <laughs> definitely really cool. And uh, you know, in the audition material uh, wasn't anything about Jason Todd dying. Okay. You know, you uh, coming into it, I wasn't uh, sure exactly what it was going to be. I just knew it's a new Batman movie. It's going to be really good. And I'm going to have to play Robin. And then did I, you know which Robin? I did know. Okay. Jason Todd was in the sides, so I knew I knew what that was going to entail. And then I got the script, and I realized scene one. <laughs> and you're like, well, this will be a short answer. Yeah. 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 Is that me right there getting beaten by that crowbar? <laughs> and indeed, indeed, it was. And it was, it was cool. I got to tell you, uh, dying is it's pretty sweet. Uh, um, it definitely is in this film. I mean, uh, what better way can a, an actor ask to die than by the Joker's hands? Um, and it was a fun scene to shoot, and a lot of it was following picture, which I really enjoyed. When we came back to do ADR on it, we just, uh, she just kind of let it roll. Andrea did, and was like, die. I want to hear what, what, how would you react? The Joker's beating you to death. You're not exactly scared for your life, because you're Jason Todd. And you love this. This is your life. But die. And that was really cool. You know, I, it's, it's a challenge I haven't had before as an actor. And getting that opportunity was was really sweet. I did I did like it, yeah. Do you look forward to maybe more roles in the Batman universe and something a little bit longer? <laughs> <laughs> I would I would be honored, yeah. No, I really hope uh, another project comes along with a lot of these same people and hopefully Andrea keeps me in mind for something else because I had the time of my life working on this. And yeah, like you said, hopefully I could work a little bit you know, longer on the project, but the amount of time I did, I, I just had the time of my life. And, uh, getting to play Robin, man, that's that's a real honor right there. That's that's a big deal. Yeah, so it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. Um, what about, you know, you have that lovely opening scene, but then you also get the final scene of the movie. Um, well, actually, funny story, that isn't me. <laughs> oh, well, that's my really? little brother. Oh, really? Yeah, his name is Alex. So the really little Jason yes, Todd is not you. The, little, the <laughs> really little Jason Todd is my little brother, Alex Martella. And he, uh, yeah, he was actually in the booth recording with me, which is really cool, yeah. And uh, we got to work together. It was his first animation job. And that was the greatest thing for me was to be able to work uh, in a booth with my little brother, Alex, on his first job. And was he cast because he sounds like you or just, or just because... Well, just originally... Because I know they were. They had me read just for Jason Todd, and then they were asking, like, "Well, can you do a younger voice?" I was like, "Actually, my little brother <laughs> sounds great and a lot, really similar to me too." And so Andrea heard his voice and loved it, and he does. He sounds so good in the movie. I think he really. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was you. <laughs> yeah, that's a compliment. Thank you. But uh, no, I, I really think he fits uh, the character well, and uh, really sad. Really sad. He brought he brought a lot of emotion. I think. Mean, I would not be surprised if there's some sniffling going on the screen because it was definitely a sad ending. Um, and yeah, I completely credit him to that. I mean, he, he worked hard on it, so yeah. But like, yeah. so are you? You know, were you a comics fan before getting into this? Well, um, I was saying earlier uh, to some of the other uh, those that were interviewing me, um, I I hadn't read that many like actual comics and graphic novels before uh, before I really worked on this, and I, I had read Watchmen. Before, uh, before working on this because I was going to go see the film but I had another film last year at Comic Con and uh, I had a bunch of people telling me about watching it like, no you have to read it it'll blow your mind it'll make you want to read comics and I read it and it was amazing and then I saw the film and uh, then I got into graphic novels and I started reading more and uh, last week I read Dark Knight Returns because I, I couldn't find it anywhere that I wanted to buy it and it was, it was either sold out or they just didn't have it right. and then I finally got out of the library Places that I'd never thought to look at the library. It's a good shout out for the library. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Burbank Library. Um, yeah, and they had it. So I just uh, I, I read it within the span of a day. I, just sat, I couldn't put it down. And uh, yeah, right now I'm reading uh, uh, which is, uh, Batman Chronicles. That's what I'm reading. Right. Yeah, Batman, which is a bunch of separate. Yeah. Yeah. Batman Comics, which is cool. Yeah. So Batman is your hero of choice these days? As for right now, he is, yeah, and uh, I think it's, yeah, I'm definitely in the mood for Batman lately, and uh, he's such an interesting character, he really is, um, he's not the normal superhero, I think you see a lot of superheroes, like, you, know, you see Clark Kent, and he's the good boy, and I think that was stressed in The Dark Knight Returns, the difference between these two superheroes is, 
Batman really takes the law into his own hands sometimes. And we mentioned that in, in Under the, the Red Hood, too. Is, you know, he takes the law into his own hands to a certain extent. There's a line. There's always that line. Batman can't cross it. Jason doesn't understand that. And I think that was really interesting about watching, uh, playing Jason as well. Is someone who really just doesn't want any line. He doesn't want there to be a place to stop. He realizes that the city is corrupt. And the only way to stop them is to put them down. And it's, it's really cool playing a character like that. And... Uh, I think fans uh, are going to like that. Um, you know, I, I was mentioning earlier because, you know, obviously fans voted Jason Todd to die. And to me, that wasn't a sign of we don't like Jason Todd. I'm taking it as a sign of let's look at what happens if Robin were to die. And I know a lot of people don't see it that way. But, but it's a good interpretation, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to look at it now. Yeah. I think at the yeah. time, that people just wanted to be I'm kind of happy it happened because you get to see such a different side yeah. of yeah. Bruce Wayne and Batman. It's cool. Yeah. So, so what would you characterize as being the differences between the Robins? I mean, look at Jason, look at Dick, yeah. and if you're familiar enough from the comics, look at Tim. What makes them such different Robins? I'm not as familiar with Tim, okay. so I'm not going to speak for that because I don't want to mess anything up. Fair but right. um, as, as for Dick and Jason, one is someone who actually enjoys the job day to day and who actually wants to fight crime the way that Batman taught him. And the other is Jason, who is, you know, a juvie. He's a kid who just, he wants to do what he wants to do. And as much as Batman wanted to channel that anger that, you know, Bruce once felt, he wants to channel it. He thinks he can channel all that anger into something good and he can He just couldn't control it. And neither could Jason. He didn't know what he was getting himself into. And uh, he kind of let all of Batman's training just steer in the wrong direction. And so, definitely different people. And uh, you get to see both characters in this film because you get to see Nightwing too. Right. And so you get to see how one grew up and how the other grew up, which is cool. Okay. I'm sorry I'm monopolizing it. Um, if he hadn't died, do you think Jason could have been redeemed? Or, I mean, was, was Jason ever going to be able to accept Bruce's teachings? Or was he always set for this path? And just the dying, you know, forced it a little harder. I don't know. I don't think I can... I don't think I can really say that. Because <laughs> that was kind of who he was. And to me, that made him interesting. But to people who loved Robin, that made him not Robin. You know, they were like, we want to see the boy one. You know, we, this is a harsher character, and they weren't really familiar with it. But to me, it makes him more interesting. I like that. And, I mean, maybe someday he could have forgotten all that, you know? I know he wanted to find his mother. Maybe if that had happened, maybe that would have changed it. You don't know. There's all these unanswered questions about Jason, which is great, because we don't know who he was. We don't know what he could have been. And this is the unfortunate story of what is future ended up being. I, 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 yeah, I, I really like the way he did with were you surprised on how dark it was when you got the signs? Yeah, very much so, because um, I wasn't aware how dark it would be by the audition. <laughs> I mean, the, the audition is, is a scene where I'm, I'm, I'm fighting crime with, with Batman. And so it's just, you know, a normal scene where, where Robin is fighting crime. And then there's there's one part where he gets into an argument with Batman. That was in the audition. And I was like, okay, well, they're having their differences. <laughs> like, <you're wrong. laughs> Everyone argues. <laughs> but no, no, it got worse, which was cool, which was really cool. And I didn't I didn't know, uh, you know, right off the bat how dark it was going to be. But I was excited when I saw the finished product because it, it's everything you could imagine by reading the script and more because you get to hear everyone. And for a voice actor, when you're working on it by yourself, you don't get to hear everyone as the characters. And you know, Bruce Greenwood does a fantastic job as Batman. I love his Batman voice. It sounds so good. And I think all the actors bring a good element into who they're playing and do them all justice. Yeah. Have you seen any of the other animated films that Warner's have been doing lately? As far I have, yeah. Um, I know you. Were, I think I heard you earlier talking about Crisis. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I went to the, the premiere of that. Gary was nice enough to invite me to that, and uh, I got to watch that. And I enjoyed it. I, I brought some friends along, <laughs> and uh, we watched it together. And I've seen some of the Justice League stuff, and uh, I'm familiar with Andre's work. So it was cool seeing uh, a lot of the rest of the stuff, you know, and watching like Public Enemies and stuff. And then you get to to work on something in a fine line of. Well, I consider very fine movies, you know, trail comics. So I was definitely 
a very big deal. For are, me. are you going to push for an animated series? Maybe because, I mean, Batman's really hot right now, obviously. Uh, you know, I don't think I have any say in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think if, yeah, you'd have to talk to Bruce Timm. Because <laughs> he's kind of the man when it comes to Batman animated series. Um, but I'd love to, especially if I got the chance to work on it. Because um, I know this was, you know, a huge moment in my acting career and just life in general to get to play Robin. So if I, if I ever get a chance to do something like this again, you know, I'd, I'd love any other chance to do it. But, you know, anybody who does it, I think, is going to have to, it's going to have to be the right people. And you're going to have to get people like Bruce Tim to really get a hold of the material and stick to it and make people enjoy it. So I don't think you can lay Batman in the wrong hands and, and let it go. You have to really trust the people. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you very much.